Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado, registered pharmacist number 12275. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other health care practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on the Bright Side helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds. Recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system a regenerating system it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis and while some folks may call that healing system a miracle it really is just the way the body works if you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side at 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, formulations, ingredients, something you may have read about in the paper or something somebody may have told you about, we want to hear from you. Let us help clear up the confusion about ingredients, chemistry, nutrition, skin care. Yesterday, uh, Time Magazine had an article about skin cancer rates. You know, skin cancer rates are increasing. Uh, have triple, have doubled over the last 30 years, and that's despite the fact that everybody's wearing sunscreens and sunscreens with SPFs of 30s and 40s and 50s and 60s. And what is Time Magazine's answer to the question why skin cancer rates are up? We're not using enough sunscreen. Silly, silly, silly. Anyway, we'll be talking skin care. We'll talk a little skin cancer too here uh, in the coming days as we continue talking about the skin. If you have questions about skincare products or ingredients or the longevity products or ingredients, or if you have success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number today on the bright side. We'll get your calls here at the bottom of the hour. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products that you hear advertised or recommended on the program, please call the bright side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470, or head over to brightsideben.com and order products directly off the website. Okay, let's see. Uh, we're talking dry skin. We're talking skin care in general, skin health, in honor of my Truth Treatment products. Some of you already purchased the Truth Treatment products. I'd like to hear from you if you, if you want to give us a shout, 844-236-6010, what you think about them. If you notice any of the results, some of you now have used the Truth Treatment products for eight weeks or so. We started selling them well, about six weeks ago. We started selling them. Uh, 844-236-6010 if you have any comments or questions about the truth treatment products we're talking skin and we'll be talking skin here for a few more weeks if you have dry skin as we said yesterday and dry skin is very very common there's two elements that need to be addressed and neither of these two elements involve a moisturizing cream a moisturizing cream a moisturizing lotion a moisturizing product doesn't do anything except create the illusion of hydration, the illusion of moisture. You put your moisturizing product on your skin, you rub your finger along the grease and the wax and the preservative and the solvents and the propylene glycol and the glycerin that you just put on your skin. You rub your finger along there and you go, oh, I'm moisturized. No, you're not moisturized. You're slickerized. You got a little slick oil on your skin and for some reason or another, we got this belief that that slick sensation is moisture. Nothing says hypnotic trance hypnotic marketing trance more clearly than rubbing a cream, a lotion, a wax and oil complex on your hands or in your face or in your body and then feeling the product as it's sitting there on your skin and believing that we've actually created some kind of change in the skin. That's hypnosis. That's a trance. It doesn't even make sense. The unpleasant condition called dry skin or technically xerosis, X-E-R-O-S-I-S, is, to, uh, is a combination, it's caused by a combination of two factors. Number one, a defect in the production of natural moisture factors. The skin makes its own natural moisture factors. These natural moisture factors are called the natural moisture factor. That's what the scientific term is. It's made up of amino acids like arginine, for example. 
Uh, it's made up of complex sugar molecules, something called hyaluronic acid. We'll talk about that here in a little bit. By the way, you can't put hyaluronic acid on top of your skin and expect to get moisturized. There's all these products out now, and I have people asking me who know a little bit about skincare about hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is inside, underneath the barrier. That's where it traps water, not a little bit on the surface, but you're not going to really moisturize your skin by putting hyaluronic acid on top of your skin, but it is part of how the skin naturally hydrates itself. And then there's the fats, the lipids, the oils, sebum secretions, most of, or many of which come from cholesterol. And these are also natural ways that the skin moisturizes itself. This, is this a surprise to anybody? The skin is supposed to stay moist. It has moisturization properties. To rub a cream on the skin, that's not going to do anything. The moisturization properties are underneath. The second mechanism involves the barrier. This is what we've been talking about, the skin barrier. The skin barrier has to be intact. Now, skin barrier breaks down, or the skin barrier, skin barrier defects take place in a... In degrees, the most extreme case of a skin barrier defect is eczema. Eczema is when you have literally you have patches of skin with no barrier on it. Be very, it's a really unpleasant condition and can cause some serious problems with skin dryness and skin irritation. But there's milder forms of eczema. It may not even be called eczema. It's just poor barrier development. The barrier doesn't develop, develop as well as it might. This especially happens as aging kicks in and as nutritional deficiencies kick in. When we left the ocean, animals lived in the ocean. Human beings and our, our, our uh, ancestors came out of the ocean hundreds of millions of years ago. But when we came out of the ocean, we had to develop a barrier on the top of our bodies, on the surface of our bodies, to keep the water in. The body is 60 to 70 percent water, so it had to develop a barrier. This barrier is made up of hard cells and water-resistant extrusions, chemical extrusions, and they keep the water inside. The barrier comes from keratin cells, keratinocytes. And how these cells move and how these cells grow and how these cells divide, how these cells extrude stuff, how these cells form the barrier is a very complicated process. It requires vitamins. It requires a healthy body. You can't have inflammation. You got to have a proper nutrients and fats. All of these are required for this barrier to form correctly. Lots of things have to go right. Is it a surprise to anyone that these things don't always go right, that there's nutritional deficiencies, vitamin A deficiencies, vitamin E deficiencies, essential fatty acid deficiencies? God forbid if some doctor puts you on a statin drug, that's going to suppress cholesterol production. You're not going to be able to make the barrier or the, or the, um, or, or the moisture factors as effectively. The skin does lots and lots of things. You can't just be smearing stuff on the skin and expecting it to get healthy. The skin is a, a fully-fledged organ of the body. It makes vitamins. It makes hormones. It's an immune organ. It secretes protective chemicals. It secretes inflammatory chemicals. It secretes antibacterial chemicals. It's got bacteria on it, probiotics, good bacteria on it. And it makes its own natural sunscreen, by the way. And it makes its own natural moisture factors. The skin is absolutely amazing. It looks like nothing's happening. You look at your arm, you know, it looks like nothing's happening. But this is an incredibly dynamic system. Just as dynamic as the heart or the spleen or the lungs or the liver. Just as organ-like as any other organ in the body. Uh, because it's covered with this hard coating, it just looks inert. It is not inert. And it's important that we recognize this so that we treat it correctly. The skin regulates temperature. It's a shock absorber. It emits chemicals to communicate to our friends and our neighbors and our enemies that we're here, pheromones, chemicals that communicate love and safety and fertility, as well as territorial message messages. But the main role of the skin, the number one role of the skin is to act as a barrier, to protect the internal structures of the body, to prevent the entrance and interference of microbes, fungus, and bacteria, and ultraviolet radiation as well, and to prevent against mechanical injury, and then the most important role, which is to keep moisture in. Researchers can assess the moisturization properties of the skin by TEWL, we talked about that yesterday, transepidermal water loss, and this is how they determine how effective a so-called moisturizer is. This is why wax and Vaseline and oils have become the mainstay of moisturizer formulations. They decrease water loss. They seal the surface. The problem is you don't want to be sealing stuff. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back after this. All right, we're back on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll get your calls here 
in just a couple of moments. 866-735-2470 is the phone number for the Brightside Ben phone team. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised on the program, the Healthy Star Pack, the Biolumin Nightly Essence. We're going to talk to uh, the manufacturer of the Biolumin Nightly Essence tomorrow in the formulator, uh, Troy Apule, I believe he says his last name. Uh, we'll talk to him tomorrow uh, on the bright side. If you're interested in purchasing the Bioluminitely Essence, the Fucoid Z, or the Healthy Star Pack, or any of the Yongevity products you're advertised on the program, call the phone team at 866-735-2470. Make sure you ask about joining the Brightside Ben team also for a one-time $25 fee. You can start yourself a Yongevity business, earn thank you checks, get your products at the wholesale price, and help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. Okay, we're talking skin. Some of you may have seen uh, Time Magazine this week. Uh, headline here, or, or a headline on the story, why skin cancer rates are up. Time Magazine says skin cancer rates are up because we're not wearing enough sunscreen. Skin cancer rates are up for the same reason all cancer rates are up, is because we're not healthy. Skin cancer is a sign of a skin cell that's freaked out like all cancer. It's not the sun that's causing it, even though the sun may be stimulating it a little bit. Cause of cancer is a stressed out cell. That means we're not eating correctly. That means we're not, nutri- uh, we're not supplementing correctly. We're not nutritionally uh, co- competent. We don't have enough vitamin C and vitamin E and essential fatty acids. We don't have enough oxygen. We're inflamed. These are all the reasons why we have cancer. And for Time Magazine and your dermatologist and doctors to blame the sun and not enough sunscreen. Oh, by the way, sunscreens are toxic chemicals, no matter what anybody tells you. They are toxic chemicals. I'm not saying that poetically. I'm saying that literally. That's why they're regulated as drugs. And they become more toxic. Oh, this is really good. They become more toxic when they're activated by the sun. And they become less active. You've got to wear sunscreen. And by the way, there's a difference between sunscreens and sunblocks. If you've got to wear sunscreen, octomethoxycinamate or octacrylene or oxybenzone, wash it off as soon as you can and don't wear one unless you need it. Absolutely, positively need it. And use zinc oxide if you have to use a topical, if you want to use topical, Uh, protection, use zinc oxide, and then use vitamin C afterwards, fatty vitamin C afterwards when you come in from the sun. You know, your your skin is still burning even when you come in from the sun. You're still getting inflammatory effects on your skin even when the sun goes down, even when you go into the house from the sun, your skin is still activated. There's still inflammation that's occurring. So after you come in from the sun, get your vitamin C, your fatty vitamin C on the skin. You'll help protect your skin from the post-sun inflammation that occurs even when you're not laying out. If you have dry skin, it's not a moisturizer problem. I saw a commercial yesterday for uh, for uh, a product called Eucerin. Now, Eucerin is uh, is the go-to in, pharma- in the world of pharmacy. It's one of the go-to skin moisturizers the pharmacists recommend. I don't like moisturizers, the concept of moisturizers. The concept of moisturizers doesn't make sense to me, especially considering the fact that the skin makes its own moisture factors. Now, it's true, by sealing things up with wax and oil, which is what a moisturizer is, you're going to keep water in a little bit, but the skin has to breathe, and the skin makes its own moisture factors, and when you wear a moisturizer, you suppress those. Moisturizers do have a sealing effect. They have ingredients, and, you'll, and you want to be an ingredient deck reader, by the way. Steril alcohol, cetyl alcohol, cetyl palmitate. If you looked at these ingredients before they got put into your cream, they would look just like wax. You could make a candle out of them. Cetyl palmitate is a wax. Cetyl alcohol is a wax. Steril alcohol is a wax. Glycerol monosterate is a wax. Literally, a wax. If you squished it together, stuck a, a wick in there, you can have a candle. And then you throw in some mineral oil, which is the active ingredient in many of these moisturizers. All of this stuff is going to suppress biochemistry, suppress biology. In the days of Helena Rubinstein, who's given credit for starting the skincare business, the modern skincare business at the beginning of the 20th century, 1910, 1915, she came over from Russia and she decided she was going to help women. uh, She was going to start a business helping women stay beautiful. That was her deal. We're going to help women. She didn't know what the skin was. She's a, she was a housewife from, from Russia. She didn't know what the skin was. She didn't know what, what nutrition was. Nobody did. In 1910, 1920, we didn't even know what vitamins were. We barely knew what hormones were. We certainly didn't know that the skin had its own moisture factors in it. We certainly didn't know that the skin was an immune organ. We didn't even know what the immune system was. Helena Rubenstein may have been a sweet lady. Maybe not. I don't know. She was certainly a good business lady, but